I have here a 1989 Holiday Rambler. It's a model Monitor XS or GL. It's at least what the labeling shows. It's built off of a 1989 Ford Econoline E350 V8 7.5 liter. 58,637 miles. I'm the second owner. Um, I'll show you a generator right here. I'll also include some pictures on the link when I'll link it on the website. Neat little thing about it. It's got this neat little battery compartment with a hinge. So you can slide out and load your batteries in there. As of right now, condition is non-running. And I'm selling it as is. It has a fiberglass rounded roof so not one of those cheaper flat top roofs comes with a little luggage rack back here if you want to haul gas put a small generator propane back here it's bolted onto the bumper spare tire ladder to climb up there and then on the top it's got some luggage racks that go around for additional small storage or if you want to mount a solar panel up there it might be a good place to hook into it Original awning, I don't believe it was ever used. It looks still to be in good shape. Got yourself a little storage down here. A little heater exhaust there. One neat little thing about it is for this particular model, it has a driver door with steps. A lot of Class A motorhomes don't have that. They usually just have a side or a back entrance. Also, this back window back here is a pop-out window for a uh, fire escape. Now we're going to go ahead and go in. Steps right here, they do work. I had to disconnect it when I got it towed. That was part of the towing company's policy. You had to disconnect, uh, disconnect those electric steps. So I haven't really cleaned it up much. Like I said, I'm just selling it as is. Okay, so here is the cockpit. It has leather, leather dash, still in good shape. No cracks. Kind of looks like a boat or a shuttle. Free smiley face sticker included. Overhead fans. Central a central uh, storage unit right now. It's just got towels Got some light controls This is kind of neat. It's got a little leather coated overhead fold down bed You unlatch it it pops down you just fold the forward the seats forward a little bit Over the door when I just walked in Magazine rack up here. You have your controls that's your tank status, hot water, heater, and pump. Have a kitchen here, kitchenette. Double sink. Glass cabinets. As you can see inside the cabinets, no leaking. 
over here you got an oven four burner stove small gas oven have a vent 700 watt microwave and what's in there is that's just foam i bought this for my great uncle he was an engineer so he wanted to find little ways to keep everything from rattling around um over here you have some overhead cabinets storage and again you look back in there not seeing where it leaked we have also kept damper it in here for the whole time i've had it and my uncle had it every time it wasn't in use to keep the moisture down there's the ac to my knowledge the last time it was started it was uh still running we have a matching clock over here that matches the cabinets more overhead storage we have a three-way refrigerator Dometic I believe I have the manual I have the registration over here for that it's older not I don't believe hmm I'd have to check the date but I they kept new we kept newspaper in here just to make sure it's dry no milk no spell or anything but this is a three-way fridge should run off shore power propane and the generator overhead storage and as you can see at least from where I'm at right here if you look at the roof no sagging well heck you'll see in a lot of motorhomes in here you have your this is next to the stove you have your storage your little clothing rack have a little board down here and a courtesy holiday in pillow <laughs> also have a mirror you have some storage drawers down here next we have a shower fan and this clamp right here and like I said my great uncle was an engineer so he would just clamp the door just to make sure it didn't swing open but uh, by no means is it loose it's got a pretty good lock up next we have the bathroom you have some storage uh, some storage here some towel racks um, Fan up here too. Mirror, storage, sink, more storage, vent, toilet. And then in the back, you have your bed and some overhead storage. Okay. More overhead storage. Some extra sheets, some extra towels. I'm just throwing that all in with it. Got some overhead lights, speaker. And I believe that is what? Okay, just looking at the brand there. Back here you have your climate control unit. More speakers. Like I said, it is a little dirty. Just selling it kind of as is. You have another fold down dinette table bed here. What work I've done to it is, or let me, let me go back. So the situation with the van right now is, or not the van, the RV, is uh, I bought it non-working for my uncle. Like I said, it's got, what, 53,000 miles on it. 58, my, my apologies. I'll show you the dash, too, while we're at it. And the issue was, or the only issues I'm aware of it with, with it is that there was some, uh, a pack rat got into 
the, uh, the wiring over the engine, maybe not necessarily up here on the wiring harness, chewed up some wires. And I just really haven't been able to get around to fixing it because this I've got several project cars. Uh, the goal for this was I was planning on buying this, fixing it up, taking my grandparents out on a nice uh, trip out west. However, COVID happened and that delayed me. So I just decided I'm letting this go. Um, so what it really needs right now is new tires, obviously. Um, probably some rewiring. Maybe spark plug thing, uh, rewiring for like the spark plugs. Um, for instance, if you cut the key on, the batteries are dead right now. Um, so it's, it's pretty much just wiring right now that I'm aware of. Other than that, new tires and wiring, it might actually get up and run. Like I said, I'm selling it as is. Um, haven't thought, haven't come up with a price yet, but it is a little dirty. Um, but, uh. We've, I've also recently put in a new fuel pump a couple years ago. I dropped the uh, fuel tank because I was thinking that could have been the issue. Um, dropped the fuel tank, emptied out all the fuel, uh, put uh, put in some fuel stabilizer. Added about, uh, I think, a little over five, somewhere between five and ten gallons in here. Ran the new fuel tank. Turned the ignition on. You can hear the fuel the fuel pumping or the fuel, uh, the fuel pump pump. Um... The engine isn't seized up. It can be turned over by hand. Um, so there's no seizure there. But uh, it's just, uh, this is going to be a project car to whoever wants it. Um, really nice shape interior. Exterior and needs some trim updates. You know, like around the windows. I'm sure you saw it the early part of the video. But uh, yeah, I think it's just a really a, just a small wiring issue. Um once you uh, get it rewired, um, hopefully it should actually be able to run. I'm thinking that's really the only issues with it mechanically. Generator, um, I don't believe there was really anything wrong with it. It's just been a few years since it's been started. Um, yeah, um, this was originally barn kept up until late 2020. Had it towed down to here to a friend of mine's place. Um, but we never got around to fixing it or, or really got around to it working out because of covid had it covered the whole time like i said damp rid but uh yeah that's about it uh contact me if you uh, have any additional questions i'll put more specifications down at the uh link of the video and on rv trader which i'm going to post it on or at least there that's where i'm intended to post it and uh take care have a good day